Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Karen. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Maria. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome hello, back. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm very good today, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. I would like for us to get started by reviewing yesterday's class. In yesterday's class, we were looking at section 5.12, expressing clauses with because. Let's watch the video and then we will move forward to the next activity. Listen, please. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Can everybody here? Stay with us and see how the word here? because is used. Can everybody hear? Clauses with because. Yes. Excellent. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. All right, I would like for us to look at the question and then I will I would like for you to give me an answer using because. Um, for example, the first question is, why are you learning English? Why are you learning English? Uh, let me have Marlene. Why are you learning English? Because I want a new job. Okay, very good. So she says, I am learning English because I want a good job. Excellent. Um, let's say if I ask uh, Jose, why would you make a good president? Jose, why would you make a good president? Because I like uh, may uh, everything in the city. <laughs> okay, all right. You can say I would make a good president because I am intelligent. Maybe something like that. Okay, thank you. Let me have a Wendy. A why? Would you be a good 
good teacher. Wendy, why would you be a good teacher? Okay, maybe not Wendy, uh, maybe Karen. Why would you be a good teacher? Karen. Uh, Benjamin. Maria. Okay. Okay, Benjamin, you can hear me. Thank you. Uh, Benjamin, why would you be a good teacher? I would be a good teacher because I like teaching. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So he can say something like, uh, I would be a good teacher uh, because I like helping people, maybe. Uh, I would make a good teacher because I like to help others. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Benjamin. Uh, let me have You're Sarah. Welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, why would you be a good cook? Why would you be a good cook? Um, because I love eating. Very good. I would be a good cook because I love eating. Excellent. Uh, another one. Uh, why would you be a good doctor why would you be a good doctor uh, that one goes for edgar 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 why would you be a good doctor. Edgar. Wendy. Karen. Maria. Edgar. Selma. Oscar. Oscar Sombrano. Oscar Santana. Why would you be a good doctor? Neftali. Good night, teacher. Good night to everyone. Hey. Good evening, Neftali. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. What's, Excellent. What's and Ac you said, why would you be a good doctor? Why uh, would you be a good doctor? I, I, will, I will be a good doctor because 
I like help to person who, who need it. All right. I would be a good doctor because I like to help people in need. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys. So these are just uh, some examples of the activities that we were talking about yesterday. Everybody, please listen and repeat. Why are you learning English? Why are Why you, learning, are you English? Learning, I am English? learning English? I am learning English because I want a good job. Because I'm learning English because job. I need a good job. Why would you make a good president? Why are you Why make a are good you president? Make a good president. I would make a good president because I am intelligent. I will make I a would good make a good president, president because I am intelligent. I am intelligent. Uh, the next one. Why would you be a good teacher? Why, are Why you would you be a good, be teacher? A good teacher? I would be a good teacher because... I like to help others. I will make, I will a, good make a good teacher because, because I like to I help, help others. Why would you be a good cook? Why, Why would you be a, a, good a good cook? I would be a good cook because I love eating. I will be a good cook. I will be a good cook because I, I love, love eating. eating. Why would you be a good doctor? Why would you Why be a good, good doctor? doctor? I would be a good doctor because I like to help people in need. I will, I will be, be a good a doctor, good doctor because, because I like, because help I like people to in help need. people in need. Excellent. All right. So these are just uh, a couple of examples from the activities that we were looking at yesterday. Uh, the activities from yesterday were talking about right clauses with because. Um, for example, let's see some of your examples. I have a pet because I am very funny. Uh, in this case, uh, funny means chistoso. So, I mean, you could say something like, for example, uh, I have a pet uh, because they are fun, right? Eh, yo tengo mascotas porque son, ah, no. Eh, yo tengo una mascota, a pet, because, como es singular, vamos a decir, he is fun. All right. Uh, the next one, I study a lot because I need win one title. Okay. All right. Ahí vamos a decir, eh, I study a lot because I want to earn a title. Okay, good. Uh, the next one, I want to be a doctor because I like help others. Okay, ahí sería, I want to be a doctor because 
I like to help others. Vamos a ver. I want to be a teacher because I'm patient. That's good. So look at because. Sería B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Uh, patient, I want to be a teacher because I'm moody. Um, ahí sería I don't want to be a teacher sure because I am moody okay all right guys so these are just uh, some examples from yesterday's class obviously I know that you have more ideas but these are just some examples any questions about yesterday's activities questions about the vocabulary questions about the pronunciation or questions about anything like that that you would like for me to explain or review or something like that? No. Nobody? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last activity for section five, which is going to be coming from section number 513, knowledge check. Instructions, complete the sentences with appropriate information using because. Uh, instrucciones, complete las oraciones con la información más apropiada usando because. I would like for you to finish the activity in groups, and then we are going to work together. Si ya lo hizo, please help your partners. Ready, let's go. One person can share the screen. Okay. Este ya lo hicieron también. Yeah, I think. Eh. Sí. Eh. Entonces sí. leámoslo. Okay. Empiece, Roberto. Okay, permítame. Okay. Uh, permítame, dice <laughs> instruction, complete the sentencing with a appropriate information using because. Uh, I would want to be a nurse because 
I don't like hospital because I love crafty reading. Oh, pero todos tienen cheque. Oh, perdón, perdón, perdón. Es solo una, ¿verdad? Voy a contestar solo. I yeah, I just one. I will. I would want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. You can continue with the number two if you want. I like to be a novelist. No sé si así se dice, teacher. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Novelist. Novelist. <clears throat> because I love creating, create, create. I love creative reading because I love creative reading. Next. I will never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. Okay. I will make a bad uh winners because i have terrible waiter 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 because i have a terrible memory i could be a, a flight attendant a flight attendant because i really enjoy traveling ahora que le bueno voy a leer esta yo i i want I want want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. Next. I would like to be a novelist because I love creating writing. Great creative writing. Okay. Next. Uh, I didn't like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. Okay. I could, I could never be an accountant. Because I'm terrible with numbers. I will make a bad waiter because I have terrible memory. I could be a flight attendant because I really enjoy traveling. Wow. Lea la primera, Silvia, porque esa ya la leímos nosotros todos. Okay. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospital. I like to be a novelist because I love creative reading. Ahorita lo estoy escuchando, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Writing. Creative writing. Creative writing. Creative writing. Creative writing. Next. Um, I could never be a. I could never be a. I could never be a. An accountant, because. I am terrible with numbers. Accountant es como contador, ¿no? Mm, algo así. Accountant. <coughs> Accounting. Ya voy a buscar. ¿Escucharon cómo se pronunciaba la de arriba que nos costaba? Uh, writing. writing. Creative writing. Writing. Creative writing. Creative. Creative. All right, let's have the first volunteer who wants to give me the answer for number one. 
read the answer for number one. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Marlene. Okay, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. Very good. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. Good. Uh, let me have one for number two. Number, Again? Uh, no, no, somebody else, Marlene. Thank okay. you. I can, I can. Go ahead. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, number two. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. Very good. I'd like to be a novelist because I love creative because writing. I love creative writing. Thank you. All right, number three. Number three. Another volunteer. Number three. Another volunteer. I could be never be an accountant. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? Accountant. 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 Huh? Uh, because I I'm terrible with numbers. Excellent. Because I'm terrible with numbers. Because I'm terrible with numbers. That's right. I could never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. Everybody listen and repeat. Accountant. 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 Very good. Accountant. Very good. Uh, number four, another volunteer. Number four, another volunteer. Me? Go ahead, Selma. I will make a bad weather. Waiter. Waiter, uh huh. Because I have a terrible memory. Very good. Because I have a terrible memory. And the last one, number five. The last one, number five. Can I? Yes, Benjamin. Uh, let me see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I could be a flight attendant because I really enjoy traveling. Very good. Because I really enjoy traveling. Excellent. That is correct. Good job, guys. Good job. Any questions in regards to this activity? Questions about the pronunciation or the vocabulary or something like that? Nobody? Okay. No question. Okay, that's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the following one. We're going to move forward and we're going to look at where it says final exam. Right here, final exam. And we're going to be looking at section number A. Choose the words. I would like for you to do this activity with your partners. And then you will check it with the class. Ready? Let's work together. And then we will check together as a class. Give me just a second. Close all rooms. Give me one second. Uh, sorry, we have more people uh, just coming in, so I got to incorporate everybody. 
give me just one second. There we go. Everybody's back. Yes. Everybody's Hi, teacher. back. Hey, hello, hello. Give me one moment, please. Okay. All right, let's try it one more time. Now, this time, there they are. Entonces le damos la eh, completa con la respuesta. Ok. I'd like to work as an English teacher because I'm very patient and enjoy helping all people learn. Good. Next. Next, Karen Villanueva. You, Jose. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a fly, a fly, a, a flight attendant because I don't like to travel or work with people. That ain't. Hello, hello, Karen. hello, Karen. Okay, I will make a good way. Where up, where up, Karen? Because I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people. Licenciada Karen. Dale, Jose. Read. She has problem desde micrófono. Dale, usted, Jose. Dale, I could never. Tres. Dale, I, could never tres. I could never become a doctor because I am too disorganized and can't stand hospital. 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 Karen. Karen, it's your turn. Maybe she has a problem. Mm, ok. Entonces, esa la leí yo. No sé si la quiere leer esta usted y le doy yo la otra. Ok. Yes. Same practice, test. practice. I like to work as an, an English teacher because I am very passionate and enjoy helping people learn. I want, how do you pronounce that? I want, I want, want wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be a, a flight attendant. Because I don't like to travel or work with people. I would make a good waiter because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. I could never become a doctor because I'm too disorganized and can't stand hospitals. Excelente. Démosle, démosle, leamos la más la veces, la veces posible. No, pero es que hay otros, otros test. Pero ese dijo todos. Ese es de escuchar. Ok. 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 
check? Let me see. This is the first. Mm -hmm. If you work to if you work you work to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. All right, guys, let's take a look at the first one. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to do the first one if you walk to work. One volunteer if you walk to work. Michael. Go ahead, Sylvia. If you, if you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Excellent. You won't have to pay for the bus is correct. Thank you. Let me have number two. Volunteer number two. Can I? Yes, Benjamin. If you take a vacation, and you may feel better three. and more relaxed. All right. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed is correct. Go ahead, Karen, number three. Karen, number three. If you get married, you let free time. Um, se me muy obvious. Uh, if you get married, you let free time. Uh, one will have will have correct if you get married you will have less free time yes if you get married you will have less free time perfect uh, thank you number four please number four uh, me teacher me teacher go ahead, go ahead roberto okay uh, Fiona carefully plans her days so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. 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 Good job. Good job. Punctual. Punctual. Thank you, Robert. Uh, another volunteer for number five. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Marlene. Number five. Number five. Wait. Wait. And Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous man. Excellent. Generous man. Thank you. All right, number six. Number six. Somebody, number six, the last one. The last one. Number six, the last one. And Sam. Go ahead. Amy and Sam get angry easily. And almost never smile. Everyone thinks they are mostly and bad tempered. Bad tempered is correct. Bad tempered is correct. All right, guys, it's time to take the attendance. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call your name. When I call your name, I would like for you to please say present if you are present. If you see that your partner it writes on the on the chat, please let me know so that I can mark their attendance present. And the first one is Benjamin. Benjamin. Present. Benjamin is present. This is for 12. This is 12. 12, 12. There it is. 12. Okay. Benjamin, present. 
prenda. Prenda. Absent. Carmen. Carmen. Is absent. Edgar. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Edgar. Elisa. Elisa is absent. Giselle. Giselle present. is present. Janet. Janet en el WhatsApp le acaba de poner Carmen present. Uh, yeah, eso estoy viendo. Give me one second, guys. Eh, veo que Michelle Díaz dice, tengo problemas con mi conexión de internet. Me he estado sacando de la sala. Michelle Díaz. All right. Lizette Carmen. Okay. So that is Carmen. Eh, Carmen San. Yana, okay, is present. Thank you, Carmen. Present. Yano, puedo entrar. Tengo problemas con el internet. Soy Elisa. Hay Elisa. Elisa Deli. Is Elisa Deli. Okay. All right, um, Janet. Jose. Present. Excellent. Uh, Karen Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Villanueva. Karen Villanueva. All right. Present. Thank you. Leslie. Present. Okay. Maria. Ah, uh, Brenda Adriana. A mí me sacó. Okay. Brenda Adriana la sacaron. All right, let me see. All right, thank you. Um, it's a Michelle Diaz for those a me mesapo. Okay, Michelle Diaz. Michelle Diaz. Michelle Diaz se la sacaron. Right. Uh, let me see. Maria. En el chat, teacher. Santos. María. Present in the chat. Present, present. Thank you. All right, so that is Maria Santos is present. Eh, Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa. Melissa. All right, Melissa is absent. Uh, Neftali. Neftali. Present, sir. Present, sir. All right, present. Neftali is present. Uh, let me see. Nimrod. Nimrod. 
escribió en el chat, dicho. también María. Ok, sí. ¿En el chat del WhatsApp o en el chat del Zoom? De Zoom. Del Zoom. Oh, okay. María Santo. Ok, okay. Y... Nem Nemrat Saúl. Nemrat Saúl is... Nemrat Saúl is present. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué más está en el chat? María Santos. Carmen Lisset. That is Carmen Lisette. Carmen Lisette. Present. Okay. ¿Qué más? Eh, Karen Yvette. No me escuchan. Oscar Alexander. Here, teacher. Okay. Karen Yvette. Thank you. Karen Yvette. Present. Um, Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Uh, Oscar Zambrano. Absent. Eh, Roberto. Present teacher. Good job. Sara. Present. Excellent. Selma. Present. Thank you. Silvia. Present teacher. Very good. Wendy. Present. Awesome. Yeni. Here's the chair. Good job. Okay, so we have absent Oscar Zambrano. Absent. Um, Melissa Marroquin. Absent. Janet Rivera. Absent. So we got three people absent. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. Do you guys have any questions about this exercise? Questions about this exercise? Questions, questions. Somebody. No? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the listening activity. For the listening activity, you are going to listen to the conversations, check the correct information. Instrucciones. Escuche las conversaciones, marque la información correcta. Si ya lo hizo, ayúdele a su compañero. Any questions? No, teacher, any question. Oh, teacher. Oh, okay, espérame, tengo aquí, dice, okay, I got it, okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and change the groups. We're going to go ahead and change the groups. Let's go.
Claro, ya, ya lo voy a cargar, ok. Ok, lo vamos a poner a escuchar. ¿Qué pasó? Bueno, me mandó para otra vista. Units 9 to 10, quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you would want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I yeah, love no, old no, houses. No, no, no. I like that they have a past. Hi, teacher. Hello. No, no the number one uh, is uh, the letter, the number three, right? Okay, ahorita voy a ver, pero el compañero que esta cosa no sé qué le pasó. Is happy with her laptop. I'm happy with my new laptop. Okay. Yes. ¿Qué pasó? Permita. Solo él tenía que dar cerrar a esa ventana que había abierto. Sí, así le di y me metió en otro lado. Ok. Voy a volver a compartir. Sí, sí me sacó de todo. Era el ejercicio. ¿Qué ejercicio era? Para irlo a buscar directo. Papá. Mm, quiero ver. O puede compartir a alguien porque yo todavía está cargando. Va, está bien. Voy a tratar de compartir. Bueno, ok. Bueno. Todo eso tal vez me carga si usted no puede. Ay, máquina, por favor. Ya. Eh, pero lo que queríamos era ver. Ajá, y tira así, no sé por qué. Ah. Solo se va aquí a la pestañita y le da aquí de nuevo. Ándale. Entonces, de no. She's happy with her laptop. Es la uno. Ajá, oímos la segunda. Escuchemos la segunda, cabrón. Ajá. Escucha. Yeah. I don't listen. Y que quedó con... bueno, pero no se escucha el, 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 el audio del de la o sea si sí los escucho a ustedes pero no escucho el audio si sí, no se escucha el audio ay el teacher ya se salió teacher help me please no 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 We all finished? No sé, eh, mis otros compañeros no escuchan lo que el audio que yo estoy compartiendo. Eh, póngalo, quiero ver. Eh, tiene que darle en los tres puntitos arriba donde dice más. Tiene que darle compartir audio. Eh, Aquí. No, 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 no. no. Eh, váyase donde dice aquí participants no donde dice participants abajo 
Tiene que irse a la plataforma. En la plataforma donde dice más. Tienen que ver tres puntitos abajo. No sé si abajo le aparecen en la plataforma de Zoom. No en la plataforma de... Ah. En la plataforma mm. del Zoom. Le tienen que aparecer tres puntitos. O donde dice audio. Busque allí. Y le tienen que decir compartir audio. O compartir no audio. Si no, computadora. ya me cargó la mía. Este. Bien. Voy a intentar yo, Jen. Ok, dele. Sí, es que de entrar a la plataforma de Zoom para poder activarlo, ¿no? Correcto, correcto. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Sí, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey. Do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two, I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling. And <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. No, uh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to... All right, let's go ahead and check the last one. Number one, let me have one volunteer for number one. One volunteer it's for number one. Go ahead, Jenny. Is happy with her laptop. Is happy with her laptop. Excellent. And number two, Maria. Uh, number two, Karen. Number two, uh, I... okay, go ahead. Uh, number two, Jose. Uh, number two, Jose. All right, number two, Marlene. Boy. According to Harry, if Marsha's no, if Marsha stay in her apartment, she'll have more time to save for a house. Excellent. She'll have more time to save for a house. Number, Number three. three. Go Me ahead. Teacher. All right. Jim's dad. The answer is speak both French and Spanish. Excellent. Speaks both French and Spanish. And the last one, Mac. Mac. Can I... Wants to get a job at a national park. Excellent. Wants to get a job at a national park. Oh, Jim's dad. He's the second one, teacher. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. All right, guys, it's time to go.
please finish the final exam and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. God bless you. Bye, God bless. God bless. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.